Welcome back, Zero K fans, to another exhibition match. Remains Natalie the Don. I remain your host, Chad Fury 333 And we're going to have a match between Silent Shadow and Anir on Wanderlust. And I probably should have taken the time in the break to actually write that down and not just forget that I have to do that if I want to have the bottom bar look correct. But apparently I did, which was a bit of a mistake. Sorry about that. Get that set up. There we go. So... Yeah, Silent Shadow and Anir. I've seen Anir a little bit in the last couple of casts that I've done. Silent Shadow, it's been a little bit longer since I've seen them. So neither of the players I'm super familiar with, I'm afraid. So we are going to have to see how this goes, just kind of play by ear. So Silent Shadow going for Spider Factory. I agree with on this map because cliffs, cliffs everywhere. You want to use Spider Bot on cliffs. That's how it goes. And Spider Bot for Anir too. Both players with the same idea of just use Spider Bot to figure out the cliffs, set everything up. I mean, the one weakness of spider bots, of course, is that their individual units are not particularly strong compared to those of other factories. But when you're dealing with the spider bot mirror, that particular weakness is moot. It's really just a matter of who can better figure out what their opponent's up to, who can use that information better, and who can set up their positioning better. Because that's what spider bot factory does. It's all about setting up your units based on what your fleas see, because then you know what to fight with, where to fight when to approach, all that stuff. You know exactly what to do, because you have all the information. You basically have a map hack. That's how you do it. And Anir and Silent Shadow, both with their fleas everywhere. I mean, I think Anir right now may have... Yeah, Anir has an information advantage. They have fleas all around Silent Shadow's base. They can... The only thing they don't have is a flea up on this mountain. If they had that, that would be perfect. That'd be exactly what they need. The last little bit they need. But I don't think they're going to do that. I do think that they are... No, they're actually... They actually defended against their own, too. Which is kind of surprising, because they have a defender pretty much in position to stop any flea from just hanging out on top of the mountain. But they themselves have not placed a flea on the top of Silent Shadow's mountain. Really not totally sure what the motivation is there. Anyway. At this point, just flea war- Why is it just flea wars? What the heck? Why are you guys not building anything else? There's a weaver for Silent Shadow. Anir has a weaver as well. But I don't see any venoms, I don't see any redbacks. I'm kind of confused. No, just fleas. I really am kind of confused because I mean, fleas are good, but really Venom Redback is kind of... Or Venom Hermit. Well, at any rate. Oh, okay, there we go. Anir, the first to go for the Venoms. Silent Shadow still has not gone for the Venoms yet, but Anir is going for those Venoms. That should work fairly well. But at this point, really, it's... I don't know. I Okay, so let's go over the flea placement a bit. Right now, Silent Shadow has two fleas right next to each other. They aren't really getting new information other than what the other one gets, and they're close enough that I think if anything goes in the middle, they're both going to decloak, and that'll basically not be what Silent Shadow wants. Whereas, if they were over here, it'd be a bit different. It'd be more redundant. Well, not so much redundant, but at least it would have a better set of what's going on. Redundancy doesn't really matter for fleas, just because it's really easy to spot both at once. Especially in a position like this. Like, this Venom's going to spot one of those fleas. Oh, no. Never mind. I thought I was going for it. If it was going to go here, it would have spot... Like, if it was going to keep going along that path, it would have spot one of them. would have spotted one of them. But it didn't. But, yeah. On the other hand, Anir's flea placement... I mean, they have... They have all the ramps pretty much covered. And here, that's one of them down. Although, actually, only one of them did go down. So, I guess... Okay, score one for redundancy. But by the time this red back comes in here, the red back's going to find the other one. Now, Anir knows where Silent Shadow... Sorry, Silent Shadow knows where Anir is. And now Silent Shadow moving that flea into a better position. There we go. But I think that... I think Anir actually saw that. And the other one's about to get torn to shreds by Redback. There we go. So... I mean, I guess that was redundancy in action with the flea moving. But at the same time, it was spotted. So that's basically going to die. So much for that. Yeah, Silent Shadow, much more concerned about the north. I mean, Anir just has one on the ramp. That's one on the ramp on the western side, which is interesting because that's... Oh, it's Silent Shadow side. Yeah, that's the side they care about. So yeah, Anir, I think, has a really good set of flea placement. They pretty much have every single ramp covered. While Silent Shadow has some of the ramps covered, but seems to be a bit more paranoid about making sure that they're redundant about their flea placement. Without necessarily trying to make sure that they're... On the right position. However, one thing about Anir's placement is that it's on the ramps. 
Bearing in mind, spiders don't need ramps. Spiders work on cliffs, no problem. So I don't know entirely the motivation of that, but it looks like that was the general idea of how you place it normally. Because if you're playing against, say, a bot factory, a normal bot factory, or a vehicle factory, though I can't imagine why you'd have a vehicle factory on this map. It's not the best map for vehicles, but it can work. If you had a bot factory on this map, then yeah, they'd have to use the cliffs. That would be a matter of course. But when you have a spider factory, they don't have to use the cliffs. And Anir coming in with more Venoms, more Redbacks against Recluses. I mean, the thing is, the Recluses, they're doing an okay job, but they're not really working that well. And the problem with the Fleas, of course, they get close to the Venoms, they get stunned out. I mean, ally Fleas get stunned out half the time if you're playing a Venom Flea strategy, which is why Venom Flea strategy doesn't really get played. Yeah, that's ally Fleas, though. Enemy Fleas are even worse. Enemy fleas are going to be potentially clumped up, and if that happens, the venom just tears them to sh well, just stops them all, and the red back tears them to shreds. Heck, even if it doesn't happen, the red back is there to tear them to shreds. So the recluse kind of makes sense against the red back, kind of, but it just doesn't have that accuracy to make it really work out. Now, on the other hand, yeah, venom red back is just a great pushing force. Granted, I'm a bit surprised we don't see any hermits coming up. Now, we haven't seen a lot of static defense so far, so Anir has no real motivation to get Hermits, but at the same time, static defense is something that will come up. And when it does, actually, I guess when it does, that'll be when Crab is up, because by that point, Anir will have enough money to just build the Crab and not have to worry about getting a bunch of Hermits in the interim. Not exactly the most convincing sales pitch for the Hermit, I suppose. But yeah, that's how it goes. Now, once again, another retreat. I mean, these recklesses do not have the speed, do they? No, they definitely... I don't even have to look at the numbers. Recklesses do not have the speed. They stop. They get hit by Venoms. They can't go past. And yeah, is that... I don't know. Is it that... It's accuracy or is that just on... No, it's not on radar. It's... It's visible. It's on vision. It's just that they don't home. The reckless rockets don't home. So as long as the redbacks keep moving, they're probably not going to die. And at this point, I say Anir really does have the advantage. Silent Shadow, can you... Okay, they're just building up more and more Recluses. Just want to go Recluse Flea. I don't really understand that strategy. I have not seen Recluse Flea ever. And given how well it's been working out, I don't understand why Silent Shadow's continuing to go for it. It's kind of pushing Anir back. Yes, that much is true. But at the same time, there's the Hermits. Because the Hermits will help without being expensive as a crab. But at the same time, nothing's really getting hit. Like, the Redbacks aren't getting hit that hard. Although, on the other hand, half a dozen Recluses does make a difference. And Nier doesn't know about that, though. Nier only knows about these two Recluses, doesn't know that there are more coming. I know it sounds weird, because normally Skirmisher beats Riot. That's how the triangle typically goes. But at this point, it's not really happening. Like, that accuracy is really the problem. I'm just a bit surprised that Anir is not either committing to attack that or going around to the side and... Well, actually, they're going around to the side now. There we go. Now they're going around and just attacking down. And Silent Shadow does know about Anir's commander position. Can't really do anything about that. Knows that Anir is expanding over to the south side of the map and knows... And Anir kind of knows that Silent Shadow is up to expanding to the north side of the map now. But more importantly, here is the main assault that I think is... I, is there anything to defend against this? No! No, there is not. There's, like, a Lotus and a few Metal Extractors, and Metal Extractors do not defend themselves, so that's kind of a moot point, which means that's going to go down. Lotus is already down. Everything here is going to go down, and everything up here is also going to go down. A couple of a couple more Recluses coming up here. I mean, really, Anir, with all the forces they have, could just power through the Recluses and power through the base, and that'd be it. The game be over. I don't know why they're not doing that. Like, really, why are you not doing that? Oh, Silent Shadows Commander. That's why. Take out the commander, get rid of that. Being careful to make sure you don't die to the commander. That's always important. And nicely done. No deaths on Anir's side. Wait, did... Did Silent Shadow detonate their commander? Because that commander wasn't about to die. They didn't... They didn't get shot. They just landed and exploded. I think they controlled deed the commander. I... I guess that kind of... That happened? It was really weird. Now, at the same time, Counter Assault is coming in from Silent Shadow, so it's not like they're being totally idle. But yeah, the Redbacks having no real issues just dodging through those rockets. 
I mean, they're all in fight move, which is probably why they're not moving too close, too much closer. Actually, has Anir been on fight move this entire time? Is that why the red, the recluses have been able to get away with this? And it looks like, yeah. Well, maybe. Well, at any rate, Rex is finally getting their comeuppance. And it looks like we are seeing Venom flee. And that's why you don't see Venom flee, because they just stun out each other. Yeah, and here, getting rid of the Recluse, I don't really know what the point of the Recluse-oriented strategy was. I mean, like I said, on paper, if you just consider the standard Recru Raider, Riot, Skirmisher triangle, it makes perfect sense. But in the Spider-Bot matchup, Spider-Bot mirror matchup, it's not quite the same thing. You gotta consider that the Spider-Bot mirror matchup is one where you don't necessarily have that accurate of a skirmisher. So it doesn't quite work out the same way. That also is a factory that basically has kind of a raider scout. Doesn't really have a proper raider, has a scout, and the redback venom combination kind of works raidery, but it doesn't have a straight up raider. And instead, the Venom and Redback is more or less able to get through the Recluse. Granted, I mean, Venom, I mean, sorry, Fleas can on their own get through the Recluse, and that's obviously the option that you can take. But other than that, as we saw just now, Venom Redback takes care of it. Anyway, that was that game. Spider matchup. We haven't really seen, I haven't really seen Spider Mirrors in a long time. They happen occasionally. And on this map, it kind of makes sense with all the cliffs, as I mentioned earlier. But... Yeah, it's an odd matchup, especially since Silent Shadow clearly didn't quite know how to deal with it. I mean, really, it does kind of come down to Venom Redback Wars or Hermit Venom Redback rather than Recluse Venom Redback or Recluse Flea Redback. It's kind of more how the triangle goes until you get a crab. Yeah, the crab is kind of your goal. Anyway, last game for tonight is going to be on Trojan Hills, my favorite map between Rar and Capricious. So that'll be up in just a moment, so stay tuned for that.